Good morning. Today I have been thinking about uh, GraphQL fun times, eh? Um, I stumbled across a, a an actual documentary on GraphQL, and it smacked of bros. Smacked of bros in San Francisco. Um, and uh, I use GraphQL, I, I write GraphQL resolvers and kind of that thing, and I think it's uh, interesting. Um, I think what's what's fun for me, because I want to get onto the word fun, is uh, just writing something different, just doing something a little bit different, right? Honestly, that is uh, what makes things fun, like mixing it up when it comes to code. You know, code, code really isn't, it could, it could be fun because it can be cha when it's challenging. Um, and anyway, so this documentary, um, ah, it after watching it, it made me want to go out my way not to use GraphQL. It made me just realize that, there, I mean, I don't see it because I work for myself and I work by myself for a lot of the time. Um, but the, the whole kind of like bro culture is rife. Um, <clears throat> um, and it's, it kind of, goes back and looks at these three Facebook guys who made uh, GraphQL and there's like this scene, I mean maybe it's the people who made the documentary and they're not awful people, but uh, there's this scene where they're all sitting around this um, like a fire, but it's not a fire, it's one of those like fire pits that you can get if you have a fuck ton of money. Uh, sitting around a fire pit and kind of laughing, and it's, ha ha, isn't rest shit, and GraphQL is, we're so clever. Um, and I feel like GraphQL has really put, um, made rest, like, the ugly duckling, not even the ugly duckling, the ugly duckling becomes beautiful. Uh, like, I don't know, like, if you're doing rest-based APIs, then you you're just like, no, no. If you're doing GraphQL stuff, you're, you're like, you're cool and you're hip. Um, and the thing that really stuck with me is that they they said that they wanted to make something that was, uh, I think they, I can't remember if they said better than rest, but fun and not rest. Like, I don't know how where are you going? Are you going? Okay, this guy just drove into me. Um, I don't know how rest is fun. Uh, GraphQL is fun. Like I said, writing something different is is fun to me, but like writing GraphQL queries day in day out is not fun. It's just as the same same crap. Um, and they, I feel like they villainized rest success successfully. Um, and I think, I feel like it's kind of brute force. Um, just basically, you know, Facebook's a big entity. Uh, they have a big development community and they're able to kind of ram it down. Uh, not ram it down on the throat, but just put it everywhere uh, until you kind of question, like, why aren't I using GraphQL? Should I let people query using GraphQL? It's things like GraphQL uh, doesn't have a mechanism for posting files, like uploading files. So you have an API where um, you've got people who can create user profiles and they can uh, add an avatar, but GraphQL has no mechanism baked in to allow you to upload files, even though it's fun and does all these things the REST does, but REST does can handle files because it's not a protocol. Um, and then types. So uh, it's a typed query language, I guess. And um, so the types that you have are ints and floats and uh, strings, and um, but no dates, no no date type. So to, to get a date type, you need to do your reading, and you need to find the right plugin to give you a date type. Seems seems a bit odd. And then you have things like the way that the uh, qu uh, uh, not queries the uh, resolvers are structured looks like you should be able to do um, polymorphism. So that's where um, you use the argument to determine the function. 
uh, effectively. Um, uh, so for instance, if you pass in, if you do uh, a query like find user and you pass in a, a string type, then it does the kind of you know, username lookup code. And if you pass in uh, an integer type, then it should do a uh, by ID type. And because GraphQL is typed, it will know if you're passing in a string or a, uh, uh, an integer, regardless of how we, like, what you give it. Like, it's typed, right? So you have to say this is an integer. But on a server side, that there's no mechanism for it. It doesn't exist. It's just not a thing. The, the overloading, is it overloading or poly polymorphism? One of those two. It doesn't have that mechanism. It's, it's like, it's, seems like it's right there but it's not it doesn't exist and again because rest isn't a protocol it's um it's completely doable using rest so i don't know how rest became vilified uh and and i don't know how graphql is is cool because it it or fun it really isn't as clever as it claims to be um one of the, the big negatives that I've come across is, uh, well, firstly, firstly because uh, the first negative was that um, uh, I worked with a Ruby developer and their, their GraphQL implementation at the time, the libraries for it just weren't very good and the Ruby developer was really wary of adding this thing. And when they added it, it just, it, I think it was a bit of a mess from their perspective. Uh, it's quite straightforward in JavaScript, but I'm not sure about other languages. I'm sure it will get better over time, and it probably is not too bad now. Um, and then you have uh, like quite a lot of the time there's a lot, lot of the time that I'm working uh, I'm coming across from, like, this would be solved with REST, traditionally. And um, you basically just want to kind of connect up to a database, and you don't want to do all the scaffolding, all the crap that goes with it. So, um, there's tools like uh, Prisma, which will um, scaffold your uh, database schemas and create uh, GraphQL schemas on top of that. Um, but the problem I found from that was that, firstly, there's this big question mark about security, like how do you control access? Um, that's a whole extra fucking headache. And the second part of that is, um, how do you control uh, queries in the, if you, if you wire GraphQL directly up to a database and you can nest queries as you can in GraphQL, like that's one good thing that you can kind of uh, insert a nested type that you want and, and give the properties you, you uh, give that the properties to kind of filter. Um, motorbike really wants to go fast. Um, I've written, I'm able to write GraphQL queries that, that completely hose the database in terms of optimization. As soon as you get enough records in the database, uh, if the indices aren't right, you can completely exploit them using GraphQL. And I know that's down to uh, the software implementation. Uh, and and how the uh, the authors put the code in, but it is it was really easy to write code that completely hosed uh, the server. So I don't know. Maybe maybe Facebook are doing an amazing job. Oh god, an amazing job. Oh Christ, oh, far away. I think Facebook has done an amazing job of marketing. Um, and, you know, React is a similar thing. Uh, and all those other things. But I don't know, you know, it pisses me off that there's these, like, bros that, like, this is, this is just cool. And it's cool because it's new. Like, fuck that, honestly. Something is not cool just because it's new. Something is not cool because it just shits on another technology. Um, something should stand on its, these things should stand on their own merits. And um, GraphQL has its merits, but 
being better than rest is not a merit. That's me about to bump into a wall. All right, laters.